And this is a leadership book, uh, Breaking Ice and Breaking Glass, uh, Leading in Uncharted Waters by Vice Admiral Sandy Stowes. But I don't want to scare folks off because I don't need a leadership book. I, I saw this more as a, uh, a, a a book that also told you a lot about how to how to grow in your own life. And and uh, it's although she has a master's of business uh, administration from Northwestern University, and she has a Master of National Security Strategy from the National War College, um, and she was a superintendent or, or a college president, if you will, of the Coast Guard Academy. There is a little bit of uh, lower brow uh, uh, leadership advice that I could relate to here when uh, when you refer to Kung Fu Panda. Tell us a <laughs> little... Tell us a little bit about your thoughts on uh, that as a leadership or, or growth uh, uh, opportunity. Well, first, I'm going to tell you a, a tiny little anecdote that starts this story. I was superintendent at the Coast Guard Academy 2011. So it must have been 2012 or so. I'm standing in front of a bunch of cadets, brand new cadets, which is students at, at a service academy. And so they're 18, 19 years old. And um, so I'm trying to tell a story. That's in my book, in fact, about how my boss wanted to be, wanted me to be confident. He wanted me to stand on the bridge of a ship like John Wayne with a six gun in each hand, barking orders. And so I tell that story to the cadets because I was trying to relate to them, saying, hey, I know you're all in this new environment. You don't, you know, project yourself. Maybe you're kind of shy, um, but you can overcome it. And so I used the John Wayne story. And then I thought, I just thought of something. It kind of came to me. I said, wait a minute, how many of you, how many of you have heard of John Wayne? A couple of hands went slowly <laughs> up. <laughs> you, you were dating yourself. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And I'm here to tell you for four years, I listened to speakers my age, incredibly famous people in some cases, come in and use anecdotes the cadets had never heard of because they were used to speaking to older audiences. So I'm like, oh my gosh. I got to come up with something new. So I had recently watched Kung Fu Panda and I'm like, oh my gosh, there's leadership lessons in every scene of Kung Fu Panda. And so I even have a little talk that's the 10 leadership lessons from Kung Fu Panda. But I was able to use that for, for people because you take this Kung Fu Panda and it's not that old. So people listening in today probably have seen either the first one or the second one or both. And you got a big fat panda who's, doing nothing with his life. He's just working in his father's restaurant and he dreams of being the Kung Fu warrior. Well, the Kung Fu warrior doesn't look anything like a big fat panda, of course. It's a much more, you know, physically fit and capable specimen, but he has this dream. And then all of a sudden one day, there's a magic moment where every year there's one person picked for to be the next kung fu warrior and this guy's pick poe the fat panda it's just like a magical thing and nobody can believe it because he can't do anything and so this master this kung fu master has to train him and there's other kung fu warriors in the group and they all look down on him they pick on him they mock him and they he's too fat he's too jovial he doesn't fit in well in the end all these qualities that people have been mocking him for were strengths. And he was able to defeat the foe that he was having to meet by believing in himself and who he was. And there's a scene that I always remember in the movie where they've done all they can with training this Kung Fu panda, this fat Poe, to be the Kung Fu warrior. And they're at their wit's end, but they've done everything. The last thing is a secret scroll at the top of the palace and you can only get it with a big ladder and a hook and you bring it down. And the only person that can read the secret scroll that has the recipe for how to beat this bad foe that's going to come destroy the village. The only person that can read that is the Kung Fu warrior. So they hand big fat Poe the scroll and he unravels it thinking there's going to be the secret, you know, the secret sauce, how he's going to beat this foe. And he just screams and, and falls back and, all it is is a reflective paper that shows his big fat panda face. He's looking at himself. And that's like the moment for me. It's in you. It's all about, it's already in there. So how do each of us as individuals bring out 
the best of us that's ready to go out and fight and uh, win. It's a great <laughs> leadership principle because it is, look within, it's there. You just yeah. have to bring it out and it ties in, we'll t- tie this up with a ribbon here. So remind us what the Coast Guard motto is. Semper Paratus, always ready. Like what you heard? Listen to this full episode and more on the Apple Podcasts app, Blog Talk Radio, Google Podcasts, or iHeartRadio. And now streaming on Amazon Music, Audible, and Spotify.